Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to put together this Christmas house. Now, it's looking massive because it was cut on the Cameo Pro. So if you don't have one of these yet, it can be cut smaller. You can cut it on your Cameo 4 or your Plus, but this is the largest size it can be, and it actually comes together pretty easy. You're just working with a ton more paper. Look how fun that is, you guys. Now make sure you can grab it in the Silhouette Shop. I mean, I like it next to me so you guys can see just how big it is. Let me show you the back of it too. Flip it around. Okay, so I've got a tree in the back and windows. Super fun. Okay, and if you are not already one of my Silhouette VIPs, make sure and join at KarinaGardner.com. We send out a freebie every single week. And let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to make this now. Okay, you guys, let's get started. Okay, you can see there are a lot of big pieces here, but don't let that worry you. And it does seem like a lot of pieces, but it actually isn't as many as you would think. So first two pieces I want you to be aware of are these two large, these are your main section pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and fold them. That way you get a sense for the size and the way it should look. So I'm just gonna fold back here on the tabs. This is actually the back right here. And once again, you guys, if you have a Cameo or a Plus, you can make this smaller. This is made with the Pro. So it is much, much bigger than usual. And all you have to do is hold down your shift key while you're in your Silhouette software and um, then size down everything at the same time. Now, if you miss a piece, it's not gonna work. So make sure and grab everything. Look, that was pretty easy, right? This is one of our sides, we're just gonna fold it. It's more just bulky than anything, okay? All right, so two pieces scored, perfect. Now let's grab, let me just show you guys. Okay, so. I have this bottom piece and you might be like, Karina, why in the world do you have two scores in the middle? That is for electric tea lights. So if you wanted to, you could light this whole thing up. You could do it in a white or a lighter or even a vellum if you really wanted to, if you wanted this to be all um, lit up when you turned it off at night, okay? And then this is your roof piece. And those are really your essential pieces to get the main piece, uh, the main house together, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm using hot glue today. I really recommend hot glue because um, it's gonna stick much, much better. But I'm gonna move these pieces out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna start with our bottom piece. We're gonna glue it right to the bottom. Go ahead and center it. I'm gonna put my hot glue right to the main house piece. Just make sure that it sticks and that you're good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold up these side pieces and glue the bottom area together. Just like that. Let's take uh, some glue and do the other side. Okay. All right, you can see how easy this starts really coming together. Can you see how that creates and forms your box? Okay, so let's go ahead and glue up these edges. I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna do it straight on the tab this time. And you can do either, it doesn't matter. It's just easier for me to kind of see what's going on, getting it on the tab. And then you can see I folded this one back this way. So just fold it back this way and then go ahead and glue on that tab as well. If you are having trouble finding 24 inch paper, make sure and check out all the different um, craft stores and art stores as well. This particular paper that I'm using here is 20 inches by 26 inches. And that seems to be a really standard size for finding in the craft stores. You can also use a poster board. And if you do use poster board, it will be much, much stronger. Okay. so. Pretty easy here. Guys, look what I accidentally did. I just started folding. Just need to be folded this way. So I'm just gonna fold back. It's not that big of a deal. I just folded it the wrong way. All right, easy peasy, right? Okay, I like to start at the bottom. So I'm gonna glue along this tab and glue this piece on from there, okay? 
and the hard part is the hot glue does gl like start drying so fast. So you've got to get it on there as quick as you can. All right, we're in there, you guys, we're in there. I wish you guys could see in person how big this is. It's huge. All right, so we're gonna tuck in these tabs and we're gonna glue them as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece and I'm gonna glue up one of the edges. All right, I'm gonna come to the other side and finish this first because otherwise it gets tucked in there too tight. You're just covering more square footage than you normally would with a smaller project, okay? Awesome. Okay, this last tab right here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on that. You don't even need a lot for these pieces because you are gonna have lots of other pieces covering, kind of helping it get stabilized. Okay, a little bit here on the tab. You guys saw how fast that came together. So the actual stru uh, structure is super quick, no biggie, super easy. Okay, now here's your roof. There is a chance, I haven't even looked yet, but it's okay if the roof doesn't cover completely. It gets close. See how close that is right there? It's okay if it doesn't cover co completely because we're gonna cover it with um, this red roof right here. So don't stress if you have a tiny bit of a gap, okay? Or if your tab is your gap. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue right here one edge because it is a lot of space to cover. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the other side next. You could do this side if you wanted to, but I, I prefer getting one side super stable. And you guys, I'm not using poster board today and this is still, I, you know, I had some worries about it, but it is actually, look how steady that is. It's big. I think it's about 20 inches tall. So you, I mean, even if you're using a lighter paper, this is not even like a he, what I would call a heavy cardstock. It's still holding. Now notice I have a big gap here. Don't you worry about that, okay? If you have a gap, you are just fine. Okay guys, main structure done. Look at that. Ah, it's so awesome. Okay, so now we have um, a piece to go in the front right here. And I'm really excited about this piece because it's just gonna add a lot of dimension to um, the entire building. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and fold it all in place, just like that. Okay, and we are going to build this piece and its roof together first, okay? So folding back, folding back. Go ahead and glue the bottom on first. See how it creates a box right here? You really want that box. So I'm gonna fold that up. I'm gonna fold this up. And then I actually like to glue the tab up as well. It just gives it a little bit more structure. It makes it easier when you actually glue it to, um, to your top piece. Okay, then you have a roof line here. Now the key is to make sure your tabbed pieces go towards the back because that's what's gonna stabilize it to the rest of the building. So I'm gonna glue this right here like that, okay? So let's start with one long edge. And make sure that's pressed in place. And once again, don't stress out if you have holes or gaps because we have roofs to help us out. And then the last gap. Okay, so I gave you guys some tabs right here on the edge. Do you see these right here? Those tabs are important because they're gonna help stabilize it to the roof line. So go ahead at this point and glue those tabs to the roof line and that's just gonna help hold it together. Okay, pretty easy, right guys? 
I mean, you're basically building boxes in house shape. Okay, so you can decide, I'm gonna do mine with the point on my right side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to center it the best I can to this. You're almost getting like a steeple look, which I really like with these high pitched houses. And then this is the part you have to be so quick. Get that glue on as quick as you can and flip it over as fast as you can. And we're in business, guys. Okay, look at that. Okay, to me, the best part is what's coming next. We're gonna put the roofs on and then we're gonna decorate it. Okay, move this out of your way. You've got four main roof pieces. You see these right here? And they just fold over like this and you're going to hot glue them to each other. Now, I've made a lot of houses where we use this you know, multiple roof uh, method and Lots of people, I've seen lots of different people. You can crimp the edges, you can put, um, you can do it every other color, which I think is really beautiful as well. Um, it's up to you. And that's, that's why I have the multiple roofs. You could very easily just decide to put the bottom roof on and that's it and be cool with it. And it would be beautiful, it'd be just fine. But if you wanna do something to your edges, this is a great way to really make this house your own and unique. You see, I only did one side on that because my hot glue will not last. Here we go. And then the last one. You can see I'm not like worried that I don't have tons of hot glue. As long as you have enough to make it steady, you should be just fine. The other nice thing is if you feel like you've messed up a bit or it's not on point, just move your hot glue or pull it up. Like here, I'm gonna show you guys. Just pull it up like this. You've got four layers here. You are safe to pull it up and readjust it, okay? So don't, don't feel like you can't readjust, especially this roof line. <laughs> Throw more glue on that. Hello, first roof, here you go. Super easy. Okay, second roof is your side roof. Same, same thing goes here, smallest to biggest. Go ahead and glue them down. And then make sure you have one more red piece and it's this piece right here, okay? Now you'll notice this piece is a little bit smaller. These are bigger, it's because your roof is going to overhang, okay? So how you overhang it is up to you. If you want to center it, you can, which is generally what I like to do. Um, and this one, just make sure you do it the same. Like if you're not gonna center it, if you're gonna push them all forward, make sure this one on the side comes forward as well. What I'm gonna first do, just because it's gonna be the easiest, you see this piece right here? That's where this goes. So it looks like it's part of that roof line. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that, put that right in place right there. Okay, easy, right? Now I'm gonna lift this up so you guys can see the roof as I do it. Let's start with this one and I'm going to center it right there. And I'm gonna not glue the roof itself. I'm gonna glue the building. Why? Because I'm trying to center it and I don't want glue on my edges. So let's go ahead and center that. Cute. And then we're gonna do the top piece. Now, let's see if you guys can see this. I'm going to glue as fast as I can. Right there. And then put this on. And this is like where it gets hard because you wanna make sure you get it centered. Okay, can you guys see that? So go ahead and glue this other side. Let's see if you guys can see it. Okay, look how cute that is. And then the last piece to glue is your red piece on top here. Here's your last roof piece. I'm gonna hold it like this and put hot glue right here. And 
let's see if my hot glue will work for me. I'm gonna hold my finger on the back of the hot glue because it's not kind of heating up the way I need it to. And go ahead and put that piece on as quick as you can just to make sure it's stable. You guys see that? Okay, and then I'm going to glue the other side really quick. Hold it in place. Can you guys see that? All right, okay. Now is the most fun, you guys. We get to put all the stuff on. So we have window pieces, we have a single door, we have these cute little wreaths, um, we have trees. Now, I've given you a certain number, but please feel like you can cut more if you want an entire treed house. Feel great about that, okay? All right, so usually you guys know I try to stack things. I didn't do it with this doorknob, so you do have just a circle, um, just a little white circle for your doorknob. So go ahead and glue that on first. You can see I did it as soon as it came out of my machine because otherwise I lose it. So we're gonna go ahead and just use stick glue, not hot glue, because the hot glue will make it bumpy and go ahead and get that door together. Okay, so you can go ahead and center it if you want, or you can put your trees on first. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this with my stick glue, not my hot glue. You can use hot glue if you want for this piece. I just like stick glue because it lays beautiful and flat. So go ahead and center that. And it, it can be moved around a little bit because you're using stick glue, so don't don't worry if it's not exactly where you need it, okay? All right, next you're gonna have window pieces and you have really four pieces. You can see I've already glued the bow onto this wreath right here, you guys see that? So I just used hot glue for that and use stick glue for your white piece and your pink piece, for me pink. I'm, I mean, you, you could be doing any color, right? You could do black, blue, I love Christmas houses that are blue and red. So we're just gonna stick glue that together. Give it a moment to set. Now, here's where you get to make a choice. I have pop dotted my wreaths. Let me just show you guys. I have pop dotted my wreaths. Can you guys see that? Right to the front of that window. Um, if you do not want to pop dot it, that is fine. I just think it adds a certain amount of dimension that really adds to this. And there's not really a ton of other pieces on this, so the wreaths pop dotted really helps. Okay. All right. Okay, so I pre-did pre-did, is that a word guys? I don't know. I pre-made all of these windows. So once you've done those, you can place them wherever you want. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place mine. Okay, and then the last piece is, um, actually not the last piece, second to last piece is, I've made you kind of these candy cane pieces. They're an easy cut, they're a single cut of white and a single cut of red, and I stick glued these together, and they're the first thing we're actually gonna put on other than the door, just because it's so nice to have them in place before you place all your other things. So there's one for both sides, and there's one for the, the bottom and the top, and there's actually one here for here. So you can see I've already made a mistake, but guess what? Thank goodness we use stick glue on that door because it's just popping right up and we can glue it right there. I am gonna use hot glue for this because I think it's gonna stick a little bit better. So go ahead and glue those into place. Make sure, this is gonna be tough you guys because it's gonna, it's gonna glue fast. At this point, like it's so hard because you are just like laying things on it. You, like you don't have anything firm. So what do I say to that? I say good luck, you guys, good luck. All right, last thing is trees. Okay, you guys, recently I've been doing, well, I've been doing these accordion type trees, stars, you know, all the stuff. 
And recently I have changed my mind about the way I do these. Okay, before, so we need a flat surface, right? Before I would just glue them right to like this. So you get this really thick tree. I've gotten to where I wanna see more of whatever the pieces are. So instead what I've been doing, and you guys saw this with that simple ornament I did a couple of months ago, but all I do is put a little bit of glue on the edge and I kind of glue it together like this. Now, you don't have to worry about it not being super stable because we're gonna glue it straight to the house. So you're gonna have lots of stability, but by doing this, instead of having just, you know, one, two, three, four, if I were gluing this one right in, instead you're getting six, essentially. So you get more of an accordion look, which I really like, with less cutting. Let me just place that in there. And you can fold it up if you want. So, so you get more pieces. Okay, so I added the trees because I used it in my ultimate project and I think the trees really, really help. So we're going to put trees on either side of this. Super easy, we're just gonna glue the right, back. second one on. Okay, don't you think you guys that it takes it to the next level once you get those trees on? Yeah. That's what I thought, those are awesome. Okay, so now it's just placement. I've got um, a single um, window going here. I have one over here, and I don't even think I put one up there. I think I just put a wreath up there, which I will just pop dot into place and flip it over. And I'm actually going to add a tree right over here, and that will just, it'll cut up the windows a bit. So don't feel stressed out if you can't get the windows perfect, you know, lined up. Okay. And then I've got two for this edge. Flip it around. Guys, this is the final window. Cute Christmas house. Isn't that sweet? It's actually pretty simple. And if you're building it on your cameo, it will be, of course, much smaller and quicker to put together because you're not putting as much glue on it. Okay guys, I hope you had fun making this. Um, I, I believe you should be able to get it in the Silhouette shop. If you're not one of my Silhouette VIPs, you know you can join at KarinaGardner.com. It's totally free and I send you a freebie every single week and I will see you guys soon.